I'm Londa from Londa's Creative Threads and today I want to share with you some background to my pattern called Living and also give you a little mini lesson on the most popular view within that pattern. It all started with this jacket. Do you see these buttons? Do you see the little curved shape on them? That's what led me to decide to cut the front, not down the center, but in a curved shape echoing the line design of those buttons. That made me think these are just kind of like the rocks, the problems in life, and water gets around rocks, and as a Christian, Jesus for me is the living water, so that's why I named the pattern living. Then I decided what could I do to help others with a portion of the proceeds of this pattern. And I know for a fact that in Africa, a lot of people don't have clean water. Through World Vision, we can drill a shallow well for an African village for $2,600. I'm happy to share with you that at this point I'm 85% of the way there and I'm just trying to give it a boost so that we can get over the hump and maybe even start to drill a second well within the next year or so. So let me teach you some things about how I do this version of the living pattern. Along with this current promotion, in the last day or so I've put together a combo of the pattern one each of the fusible stay tapes, which are completely explained to you in the pattern, and I'll teach you more about those in just a moment. Some of the jumbo nylon clear snaps, and also these pattern pieces for the front, back, and sleeve, which don't accompany the pattern itself, but I do refer to them and suggest that you might want to use some from your own pattern collection. So all of these things are pulled together to you at a savings of it's just $29 instead of its regular price, which I forget right now. But it's a good savings, and out of that, I'm going to donate $5 to the Drill -A Well project. This is a jacket that I'm making to wear around Christmas time. I loved these buttons, which have green, red, and kind of a purple color. Contrary to the shape on these buttons, which really featured a swirl, these are more geometric in nature. I have two squares and this oblong rectangle shaped button. So I just laid those down on the front of my sweatshirt that I had cut the sleeves out of and I had used my pattern piece like you would get in this combo or in my Genesis 2 or Refine 2 patterns and you have cut. You haven't cut down the front but you've just cut the arm size and the neckline and the sides as long as you can get them. That being done, it's time to design based upon the buttons that you have. So as I was sharing, these are geometric shaped buttons. So I decided to put the square one at the first and third positions and this oblong one in the center. Because they're geometric in nature rather than curved as these were, I decided to make a very geometric straight angular opening. So do you see when I first cut this apart, I had just taken my string and decided what shape I liked, then traced along that string with my favorite chalkener marker, which just brushes off, love this, sell it at my website, and then I cut. Once I cut, then I have to put a facing on this side, and to give it some extra body, I had to interface it. So that was simple enough, I just took my fabric, laid it pretty side down, put it underneath this side, cut the same shape. Then, that took care of the right front, but then for the left front, and that means as it's on your body, I had to create an underlap. So, again, I just put this down on the fabric with the fabric right side up, cut that same shape, then I plopped that fabric on top of the sweatshirt, but at that point in time, I had to take my fusible stay tape and put it between those layers in order to get this stable so that it wouldn't stretch out as I stitched it together. I tell you exactly where to use the stay tape. In this case it was the straight grain because this is a straight angled edge. On this jacket I had to use the stretch fusible tape because it was a curve. All that's explained in the pattern. So I made this wide enough to really go underneath then I would put the jacket back on and decide how much I wanted this underlap to just kind of peak. Note that I said I just laid this underlap on top of the sweatshirt, zigzagged it down, and then came back and couched some of this wonderful chenille yarn. The buttons do have some purple in them. 
I'm thinking that I might want to incorporate some purple as well as the red. The rest of it's really simple. For the back, here's the pattern that I had traced for mine. I've got the neckline, the shoulder, the sleeves. I cut it as long as I possibly could for the fabric provided by the sweatshirt. That is, after all, the only thing a sweatshirt is, fabric and matching ribbing. I cut those ribbings off and I saved them. I'm not using them on this pattern, but I probably would on another jacket. And then over here for the sleeves, this is the sleeve fabric that I have available. Here's my sleeve pattern. So can you see I've got it folded because I have this much width available. So I can cut my sleeve that long. Once I cut it that long, I'll have three quarter length sleeves or it's just a creative opportunity to make the sleeves longer. That's really all there is to this pattern. Let me tell you more about my talking patterns. If any of that sounded confusing to you, let me just reassure you that I have all of the steps written completely for you. I love to write directions. The most important photographs are included here in the written booklet. And on top of that, I've taken a picture of every single step. Those pictures are combined online at a dedicated web page, and you get that address when you purchase the pattern. It's right inside here. As you look at the picture of each step, you click on a little bar beneath, and I come up and I talk you through that step. So that's my invention along with my son's help of the talking pattern. So it's all waiting there for you. You could make a great jacket to wear this fall too. It is going to get cold. And with purchasing my living pattern, you're donating to a great project of drilling a well for an African village. Thanks. Tune in at londas-sewing.com and keep up with me on Facebook.